Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is YouTube comment prediction tutorial series using machine learning. And uh, this is our 10th video in our tutorial series. Just to remind you of what we learned in our previous video, we learned what the meaning of static files in Frasky. We learned why do we need static files in Frasky and how to do. So in this video, we are going to wind up uh, <coughs> our Frasky model where we'll be able to receive user input and uh, make a prediction. So <coughs> let me open. Yes, this is lizard.html. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let me open home.html. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me close these files first. Eh? <coughs> Let's go in our project folder. Then let's open this HTML. As you can, you remember we removed the form action. Let me control Z to return it. Oops. What's wrong? So form action should be something like this. URL for bracket then you predict. Predict. <coughs> then you we put a bracket something like this so <coughs> let's wind up our last part so here we are going to create we are going to create uh, another function the function is called the uh, it is called the predict so inside of this function it will there will be prediction and it will result it will give the result of prediction so <coughs> let me start up dot root this is called the url mapping in frasky let me provide a path for this URL for this function. So app dot root then methods 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 is equal to post square bracket then post. Yes, let's define a function which is predicted if predict this is the name of our function and above is the URL of a function so here we are going to say loading loading data set <coughs> so here we have no more things to do just to copy to copy our our content in the Jupyter notebook so let me copy let me copy yes oops oh let me range Jupyter notebook Jupyter notebook was not learning So on desktop there are science comment then YouTube comment prediction yes we are starting with loading of our data so I'm just copying this I'm just copying 
copy loading of data set then i'm going to paste here let me remove this so paste below we don't need head we just need data so enter after loading our data set we are going to to copy code for feature selection so copy yes we are just copying and pasting then enter or oh, someone is replying to my youtube channel okay thanks for your cooperation after that we are going to copy code for feature selection copy then a paste here after feature selection we are going to copy code for a train test split just copy <laughs> i hope uh -huh. We are in our final part of our project, so just copy, pasting, copy, pasting, and everything is going on a correct way. So fit the model, I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy. Yes, fit the model. Is copied then enter uh, cross validation we don't need to copy uh, confusion in matrix if for an score precision we don't need it but we need it to we need it to copy this for for saving our model in this key so paste it here after that we light we need it to receive input from user if request dot method is equal to post is equal to post if is equal to post enter then comment comment is equal to request dot form this is how to receive user input in a flask so single quote comment yes data is equal to comment we are storing our comment in a array then you bring into a variable called the data okay <coughs> now we need it to i mean <coughs> we need it to store our user input into a vector so vector vectorizer dot transform transform put a bracket data we want to transform it into vector dot to array to array array yes something like this then enter my prediction my prediction is equal to classification which is matinomial nice by dot predict then we pass our comment which is already transformed into a vector then 
we need to return lender return lender return <coughs> lender return lender oops returning lender template lizard lizard dot html lizard dot html lizard dot html then comma prediction prediction is equal to my prediction <coughs> prediction is equal to my prediction Yes, lizard dot html classification dot what's wrong i can see there is there is <coughs> there is few error classification dot predict vect um indebted it does not match any outer oops what's wrong <coughs> yeah so this is how we can receive user input in a flask let me see this file vector vector oops classification in predict back to so <coughs> this is how we can receive a uh, user input from a flask and a uh, return lizard.html which is special for rendering HTML file. So this is just at the end of our tutorial video number ten. So far we have done with we have we are we are done with this project. So the next video will be to test to running our Flask app, make a minor corre correction, and uh, make a demo for our project. Uh, to, to put a short summary of this tutorial video, we are just winding up our Flask app or deploying, doing a final part in deploying our multinomial knives by machine learning algorithm in a Flask. So, thanks for watching. Do not miss our last tutorial in YouTube comment prediction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, put comment and subscribe for next video update. Goodbye.